Newcastle United have beaten PSG by four goals to one. It was one of the great nights at St. James's Park. Anyone who was there to witness it will remember it for a long, long time. The ground was full at half an hour before kickoff. People were singing, people were happy, people were smiling, and we hadn't even scored a goal yet. It was nil-nil before the game had even kicked off, and we'd already won because this was Newcastle United in the Champions League for the first time in 20 years, and fuck me, what an occasion. The flags were unbelievable, the atmosphere was unbelievable, and then we've only gone and beaten a very, very good technical side by four goals to one. The favourites for the group, top of the group, the team that was supposed to be hard. This is supposed to be the hard shit. This is supposed to be the stuff that you're not supposed to be able to handle with Jamal Lascelles at centre-back, even if he's not there, even if Sven Botman plays. We're supposed to be inferior, we're supposed to be worried about PSG at home. Well, they're fucking worried about us now because we've beaten them by four goals to one in one of the great performances I've seen at St. James's Park, not just on a scoreline level, which is the main thing, but in terms of a tactical performance from Eddie Howe, Jason Tindall, and his lads, Newcastle pressed the fuck out of PSG, but only when it mattered. There was a lovely blanket five across midfield when PSG were in possession and we didn't want to press. Alex Isak played up front and just, you know, He's come to Newcastle, he's cost 65 million quid. Will he chase shadows all night and just basically do a half press? Yes, he fucking will because he's bought in to what Newcastle United are doing. I thought tactically, how got it spot on tonight. PSG couldn't cope with the press on the rare occasion that we did it. That allowed us to defend the numbers. It allowed us to get bodies in front of the ball. It allowed us to press PSG in our in in our half when they um when they attacked on the rare occasion that they did. And there's just so many good performances across the pitch. It's a famous, famous victory for Newcastle. Fabian Shaw, probably man of the match for me. Forget about the goal for a minute, if you will. I know it's hard. His performance all night, his confidence on the, on the ball, his assuredness in possession when under pressure. Fucking teams play like £100 million for that shit. The bloke cost £3 million. It was an absolute bargain, as the man says himself. But here he is, 12, well, two years ago, 24 months. That's how many months are in two years. They didn't want him. Steve Bruce, the people that owned the club before, uh, our owners now, they thought Fabian Sharp will have Fede Fernandez. We'll have Kieran Clark ahead of him. Not anymore, I don't think. In fact, I know because they don't play for us, and he does. And he's just scored a screamer in the Champions League against PSG. I thought it was worth doing this video just to talk up Newcastle United. There were so many fucking snidey comments after the... Milan game we've got a great point in Milan and we got overwhelmed at times but it doesn't matter draw your away games win your home games 4-1 against the best teams in the group and you will be okay I think ultimately Newcastle United have shown the rest of Europe because this is probably the biggest game tonight I think and I didn't check any of the games because I don't look at that stuff so I assume this is the biggest game because it's the most important to me Newcastle United have shown Europe what they're all about tonight Newcastle United can dominate the ball they can do lots of things with the ball we only had 30% tonight. We had to bring on Jacob Murphy. We had to bring on Elliot Anderson. Two lads that supported Newcastle United since they were boys. Two lads that probably don't get in the Premier League squads of a lot of teams at the start of this season. Both were exceptional when they came on because Eddie Howe can use the squad. Because Eddie Howe, missing Joe Linton, missing Callum Wilson, missing Sven Botman, who was the main one. It doesn't matter. 4-1. Can you imagine what the score would have been if they played? What a win for Newcastle United. I'm absolutely fucking buzzing. I can't wait till we've got the double he double header against Dortmund at home. Got a few games before then to worry about with a, a weakened squad. But Newcastle United tonight, out of this world. The crowd was class. The display was class. The noise was class. The team were class. The manager was class. Everything was class. We are so lucky to be viewing this team as we... I was going to say in real time, that's the only way you can view anything, I suppose... But in terms of being able to witness it in the flesh at St. James's Park, or if you watched it on TV or listened on the radio, whatever, what a fucking privilege it is to see these boys. Their class, Newcastle United the Mint, 4-1 at home against PSG. This is mythology level stuff. The lads were unbelievable. I'll do one of these videos soon again if you like and subscribe. Bye.